I come in peace. What is up you guys? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wanted to get a video up for you guys because I'm not slacking. I'm not giving up on YouTube. I'm not gonna not give you guys at least videos frequently enough that I can consider it to be a weekly video. I just expect at least one video a week for me. Today we're in my bathroom because we're gonna do a get unready with me. This is very realistic. This is not gonna be some very cute, splashing water, beautifully in my face type of video. I really wanna get to the nitty and gritty part of this, which is to just discuss acne and how my skin has been behaving because I struggle with acne. I personally have taken Accutane and I've tried all sorts of things. So I finally feel like I found something that works at least to keep my skin at bay. My skin is not, and it is nowhere near perfect. I think my skin has a lot of work still cut out and that I'm still identifying products that make me break out and things that don't. I have very sensitive skin and I've been using something that I think has coconut oil in it and it's been messing up my lips. So I've broken out a little bit around my lips and I'm also on my monthly. Ladies will know what that means. So whenever that time comes, I do break out a lot more, a lot. I don't say a little because to me it's a lot. If you also struggle with hormonal acne, maybe this video is for you. We're gonna get into today's video because I have been meaning to give you guys a skincare update. It's been a whole month since we've had that video and I know it's time to make another video and we might be past four weeks. We might be at like four to six week mark of using this little bad boy. His name is Tretinoin Cream. If you've never tried, I might be butchering the name. I feel like I should know how to say this by now. It is a retinol and it is a vitamin A derivative. If you've not tried this, I highly recommend if you have acne. I got the 0.01% oh, I'm sorry, not 0.01. That actually be very high. This is a 0.025% and it's helped a lot with keeping my skin very smooth and my skin looks great with makeup on it. It's not the greatest without makeup on it, but it's not the worst without makeup on either. So I'm very pleased. I feel a lot more confident in my skin. I've now used it for almost three months. Highly recommend if you have a dermatologist, go ask for this bad boy. We're gonna get right into the video. I wanna make this short and quick and simple because I have a lot to do. My next video is definitely gonna be on like organizing. Workouts are to come. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Let's do this. First step. I'm gonna start by taking off this really cute little sweater that I got from Angle a long time ago. Okay, so I'm gonna start by making sure my hair is completely out of my face. I'm gonna put it up in a bun. It's been like my go-to lately for all hairstyles. It's been a ballerina bun top knot. It's just so convenient when you have long hair and you just need it to get completely off and out of your face. Little headband. I picked my most unattractive hairband too. You think I would pick something that's like cute and whatnot, but no, <laughs> we don't have anything at the moment. I throw all of my headbands into the washer. This headband is gonna have to do. First step is oil cleansing. I'm just gonna get some jojoba oil onto my hand and I'm gonna massage it all into my makeup. And then I'm going to use a hot towel. I'm gonna put on my, I was gonna say stove. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my sink and get it really hot so that I can get the towel really hot and wring it out. I'm gonna apply it to my face and I'm gonna oil cleanse. Okay, so I just finished oil cleansing. I just realized I'm pretty much out of my favorite soap. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get out what I can of this. Apparently I have enough. I'm gonna wash after having done the oil cleansing because it's really important to go in with a 
water-based cleanser after you oil cleanse to make sure you get all that oil off because acne prone skin that oil might break you out. Okay, now that I've finished drowning my face, I'm gonna pat dry and I'm gonna put on a mask. I'm so excited, I love masks. I mask about two to three times a week, sometimes more, just depends on how my skin is doing. I feel like my skin needs a little detox right now from its hormonalness. So I'm probably gonna come back in here and talk to you guys, but I'm gonna put on a mask right now and I'm gonna let it sit until it just completely dries. I can take anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. It just depends on how thick of a layer I put on. So I'm gonna put on a pretty good layer and really detox my skin. The mask I'm gonna use is by Peter Thomas Roth. It is the Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. I absolutely love it. I've been using it for years. I used it while I was on Accutane. I used it for probably almost two years now. I've always had it in my cupboard. I feel like it's a really good one for just getting really deep into the skin and drying out any like excess sebum. If you have oily skin, this is great for you. It might help you control your overall oil production because we know that that leads to acne if you have an excessive amount. So. If you have dry skin, I don't particularly recommend that maybe you like spot treat masking it, you know? If you have acne, this is fantastic. I wear this probably once a week at least. Sometimes I will do it every two to three weeks, but just depends on how my skin is being. I'll try and make it look nice for you guys. love this stuff. It smells very clay-like, kind of like the bentonite. It has bentonite, I think. It's 10% sulfur and it has purifying kaolin, kaolin, I hope I'm not butchering that, and bentonite clays. And it's just for exfoliating and detoxifying your skin and I feel like it does that. So I'm gonna let that sit. I'll see you guys in a little bit until I shower. I'm gonna go do some chores. I'll see you guys later. I'll probably let this sit for like 15 minutes. I don't know, we'll see, I'll time it. I'm back. My face is very dry. I can't really like move my face at this point. I also hit the protein shake on my nose. So I have a brown dot. I'm gonna pop in the shower. I will see you guys after and we'll finish up this routine. I'm gonna wash this off in there. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, I just got out of the shower. I just put my hair down because it was giving me a headache and I feel so incredibly clean. I don't know about you guys, but for me, a shower is just like a restart button. Not only being clean, but like my whole mood. Like I am a new person. I'm rebirthed after a shower. So I'm gonna go in and tone. I'm gonna use these little cotton pads that I get at Target to just tone with some, it was on sale. Had to pick up, a, I literally picked up like three. I have the Thayer's Witch Hazel. I always love bargain hunting. So I came up on so many of these when I found out that they were only like $5. The only thing is I don't recommend getting them on sale. Let me tell you why. I usually mix tea tree inside of this. And for some reason, one of these that I bought on sale, when I mixed the two, they didn't settle the way that they normally do. They had some odd chemical reaction and the whole bottle turned like white, like it's this milky color. And I'm like, this is a really bad chemical reaction. So either this witch hazel is actually have gone bad. Like it, I didn't think that witch hazel could, you know, and you think that the brands don't actually go bad as soon as they say that they do on the expiration date. I think that one actually does. So I'm just gonna tone. This one does not have alcohol in it. I've been using the alcohol free one and I like it a lot more actually because then I can just pile it on and I don't have excessive irritation. Okay, done with that. Now I'm gonna go in 
my tea tree oil because I have some dead pimples that I don't want it's from Trader Joe's and I'm just gonna literally dab it in there, run it under water really quickly and then just hit the places that I have like bigger, a big, <laughs> I can't word. I'm just gonna dab it onto the places where I have active pimples that are at the surface. My skin has been on a purge since I started the Tretinoin cream. So I just dipped it in there and it's like you can pretty much make a drop. I'm gonna run it under water really quickly because I want it to dilute a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit it on the places where I have pimples because we don't want them. Okay, I'm done with that. So I'm just gonna like let it dry for less than a minute and then I will moisturize. Then I can finally put the retinoid on them. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have not been putting it on the past two nights. I don't know what's wrong with me, I've been tired, I've been out of it, I'm trying to get my life together, I promise. Aside from that, I wear it every single night and I will even take it to bed with me if I feel that I'm going to bed earlier than the recommended time of waiting for moisturizing to put this on. I will like take it with me to bed with a towel so that I can put it on while I'm laying there half asleep, half awake, however you wanna look at it. Now that my skin is dry, I'm gonna go in with the good old daily moisturizing CeraVe. This has been great for not only my not only my face, but I feel like this is the only moisturizer I can use on my body. I like a good layer of moisturizer on before bed. Try and lay down my eyebrows because these babies are crazy. I'm gonna let all of this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna go in with the final product. And you guys will officially see my entire, I said that wrong. You guys will have officially seen my entire nighttime skincare routine for acne prone skin, post Accutane, post all the trauma that my skin has gone through, okay? You guys have no idea. I'm gonna make an Accutane video soon. I just cannot fathom how bad my skin was. So it's really, it's in a, it's a very, intense journey so i will make a video on that eventually i'm gonna go make dinner and start on whatever else needs to be done for the night while my moisturizer sits in and then i will be back to put on this see you in a little bit what's up what's up, what's up? obnoxious i'm gonna put on the very last step which is the cream and this is my skin today i still have scars and i still break out and i still have like okay but you guys i have to give you one piece of information i think eating whatever i want and i've never been able to do that with my skin being this calm i know for a fact that my skin could actually be probably like 95 to 98 percent clear and this is like 90% clear to me or maybe like 85 but that would require me being like a stickler with my diet and I haven't been like that lately I've been on the go I've been fine with how my skin looks because I've been wearing makeup pretty much every day and my skin looks pretty much so I'm not concerned and I know that if I did want my skin to be even clearer I would just have to clean up my diet so I'm very happy with how my skin looks right now. I'm gonna put on this. I might be putting on way too much, but you know, I, I am very much of a heavy hand when it comes to products. So I'm gonna start with just this much. And for me, it's all about just making sure that it gets on every region of my face. So I just start in my forehead. This is probably way too much. Like a dermatologist would be like, the only side effect from applying too much sometimes is just very dry skin. But besides that, I don't have any issues. My skin was super dry in Arizona. Here in California, it's kind of dry too. But for the most part, if it's too dry, I just don't use it the next night and my skin just balances out. So I'm gonna come into the 
t-zone try to avoid your eyes i like to really work it because whenever i wear headphones i break out i just like to make sure it's really saturated into my skin because this is the one that's going to do all the work the other stuff is kind of like cleansing and just making sure that my skin's hydrated and that we are still working on clearing out scars. The witch hazel is really good for that. So the great part about this stuff is it helps get rid of scars as well as just make it so that your skin can cleanse itself better naturally. And that's why it kind of helps with decreasing the oil production and it's great for acne. I love it. I highly recommend yada yada yada. I've been a chatterbox on this video. But that is my entire routine aside from lip balm, but I've been using Aquaphor again because I think that this lip balm that I've been using from Trader Joe's is making my lips break out. That is my entire skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I appreciate you so much. Per usual, just be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton and I will see you in the next video. I will have a workout for you. I've been hitting my workouts. I'm uploading a shoulder workout right now over on Instagram. If you're not following me, go ahead and find me. I always post my workouts over there in a condensed version pretty much every week. I've been posting workouts at least once a week, sometimes more. Just depends on how much time I have and how often I can get to the gym while keeping up with YouTube and school and work and life. So I hope you guys have an incredible Thanksgiving and this video should be going up on Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving if I haven't said that already. And be grateful for those you are with. I hope that you have a blessed Thanksgiving dinner and I will be home cooking for myself and Ty and friends who are coming over to our house. I will see you in the next one.